Let me do it. Well, that's the sound of the Iron Dome system. You can just see the air defense system going into the air to try and intercept an incoming Hamas rocket in central Israel. Let's keep an eye up on the sky and see what happens. Every single day, multiple times a day, not just here in central Israel, but elsewhere, those rockets are coming over from Gaza and Israel's trying to stop them hitting cities and civilian populations. What just happened? Yeah. Well, we saw uh, an interception of uh, Iron Dome. There was a rocket uh, shot toward the area that uh, we are defending and the Iron Dome uh, was uh, intercepting it and uh, we saw it together. Intercepting what? Intercepting a rocket coming from uh, the Gaza Strip, coming from the Hamas uh, into one of our cities uh, here in the region. How often does this happen? Well, in the last uh, war, we know that uh, it is um, thousands of rockets were being uh, shot toward Israel. Uh, you're saying, how often I can go back, <laughs> starting from uh, you know the last uh, ten years? We still uh, we we see it. I just and the reason I ask the question is because most most people are totally unaware that this happens. I've seen it because I've been here for th three weeks, but I think most people are very unaware that this is a regular occurrence. So for people watching this, how often are you having to fire that air defence system? How often are you having to defend Israeli cities? Well, we could, we could say numbers that we say, that we said before this war. Before this war, we said that in the last 10 years, there were 20,000 rockets shot toward Israel. So you can say, you, we could say that quite often, unfortunately, uh, the people of Israel uh, suffered from those uh, rockets that were shot by those terrorists uh, toward Israel by, by the Hamas. We cannot talk uh, numbers uh, during uh, this war, but we could say, of course, that there are thousands uh, of rockets, and, but, but the air defense is there. The Iron Dome is uh, defending. Uh, we should say against the Hamas, but there are also rockets that came uh, from uh, Lebanon, some of them, uh, from Syria, and even... Uh, and now we're seeing missiles uh, from Yemen. something for coming from the Red Sea. And, and maybe we, should, we could say a word about this, because the defense of Israel, we see here the Iron Dome, and we talk about the Iron Dome, but the defense of Israel is what is called the multi-tier defense. The Iron Dome is defending against those rockets that are being shot by the, uh, by, by the Hamas, by the Hezbollah, by those uh, terrorist organizations, but we have a multi-tier defense for, uh, for more sophisticated uh, missiles. The, the David Sling is the second tier, the Arrow uh, is, is the third and the fourth tier, and the Arrow is designed for targets which are coming from uh, far away, as what we saw uh, yesterday, and also for a very long uh, distance. So it's a multi-tier defense. This is the defense that was designed uh, th during the last uh, 10 or even more years, and uh, it is fully uh, capable, and, and we see the performance of it uh, during this uh, war, saving life of uh, Israelis. Of course, we always say that it is not hermetic. We're talking about defense uh, system. So this combination between active defense, which is intercepting those uh, rockets coming from Gaza, uh, kinetically, but also passive defense, which is mean, uh, you know, the order that are being issued by the Home Front Command to the Israeli civilians to go to the shelters, the combination of uh, those two together mm -hmm. are, are really what saves the life of uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of Israelis that could be hit if this, this system was not there. How concerned are you by what appears to be an escalation, so not just Gaza, not just Lebanon and Hezbollah, uh, or even Syria, but now coming from further away, uh, missiles which many people say were supplied by Iran and given to, to the Houthis. How concerned are you by what appears to be this escalation? Well, we could say that we are alert. Uh, we are prepared to all options. And uh, uh, of course, this is something that uh, we, we are not surprised. Okay, this is, uh, we prepare ourselves to it. It's nothing that uh, we learned about it during this war. We prepared ourselves uh, for, for a long time. By the way, you know, in this world of uh, missile uh, defense, of ballistics missile defense, the cooperation between Israel and the United States is, is amazing one on the developing of those systems and also training together. We trained in the last uh, 20 years with UCOM, in the last two years with the CENCOM series of uh, exercises. So, so we're, we're not surprised, but we are alert. Uh, for any option, uh, whatever could come uh, from the north, from the east, or from, from the Red Sea. 
And then once again, we saw that once they tried us, we were able to defend. And you feel confident you can continue to do that? We will do it, of course. We will do it on the defense. We will do it on the offense. Uh, you know, we, we didn't talk too much about the offense, but coming from the Israeli Air Force, I know that the Israeli Air Force is, uh, is working very hard in the last three weeks and, and for sure in the last few days uh, striking Hamas targets and uh, also close support to the ground forces uh, which, uh, which are there in the, in the Gaza Strip. And... Uh, and, you know, we, we saw it again and again. We saw the footages uh, even in the last uh, few days. Uh, the Hamas is using his civilians as a, as a, as a human shield. Mm. Very cynical organization. While we are striking the Hamas itself, uh, we are asking the population to go to the southern part of uh, the Gaza Strip again, together with the United States and Egypt. There is a humanitarian zone that was designed for this. that People won't be hurt, and the Hamas is stopping them. Very cynically, uh, and uh, so the Air Force is striking the Hamas, and, and our war is against the Hamas.